so how to use the greatest integer function. Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and the greatest integer function from the outset seems a little bit intimidating, but once you understand the definition behind it, it's actually pretty easy to apply. So here we go with the definition first. Now the greatest integer function is a function in which we're looking for the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Now again, what is an integer? Think about positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. But the emphasis is on the whole because we are working with whole numbers, both positive and negative. So here's a couple of really quick examples. Notice the notation, though, is a combination of using brackets and what looks like absolute value bars. But that's the notation for greatest integer function. So for example, suppose you want to find out the greatest integer of 2.1. What you want to think about is, what is the greatest integer, or in other words, what is, what is the greatest whole number less than or equal to 2.1? Well, that would simply be 2. Now, what about the greatest integer of 4? In other words, what is the greatest integer less than or equal to 4? Well, since 4 itself is an integer, the greatest integer less than or equal to 4 is going to give you 4. So if there's already an integer in there, the greatest integer is just what's inside. But if they give it to you in a decimal form, then you have to think about the number that's less than or equal to. In other words, the integer that is less than or equal to the number on the inside. The only thing that's a little bit tricky is if you have negative numbers here. Now, let's suppose you have the greatest integer of negative 2.3. You want to think about the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 2.3. Now, you might think it's going to be negative 2. But the thing is, the definition is, you're looking for the greatest integer less than or equal to x. If you think about negative 2, though, negative 2 is actually larger than negative 2.3. You're looking for the greatest whole number that's less than or equal to negative 2.3. Negative 2 is actually too large. so you have to go with negative 3 because that is the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 2.3. So with negative numbers, it can be a little tricky, but with positives and 0, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is how you use the greatest integer function.